It's Joseph Carringer from Boston Auto. I'm typically known as the Ditch Player, but I also do a lot of the reactable tech and programming for us. And what I'm going to take you through today is showing you how we build up a song. So you got to see Josh uh, producing the song, doing the arrangement inside of the actual construction program. After Josh does all of that, he bounces out the parts and sends them over to me. And what I do is I program the table's XML files. And how that begins is going into our control panel and finding a blank XML and as you can see just spin right up and come to a blank XML and then we load that up to the table and once we have the blank XML loaded up then we can begin programming so in this case we're gonna work with uh, Heroes and Hitmen again and what I'll do is I'll come into a control panel for our loop puck and where this is going to be programmed we're going to do the drums first when this is going to be programmed with the drums, we're going to use the yellow side, which for us, that's what we typically use as a drum, uh, a drum side for our loop pucks. And then go into the control panel, select drums, and then simply hit drum one, drum two, and drum three. And those will be the three drum parts for the, um, for the song Heroes and Hitmen. And now if I want to program another side, I'll come over here, say we take the vocal, come over to the vocal side, what we, what we designate as our vocal side for the puck, slide back up to the folder that gives us access to um, all of our loops, drop in, vocal one, wait to hear, come around just to make sure that the loop is in there and this is actually a slightly longer one, this is a full eight bar so it's going to come in just a second right here. Ain't no one in the room but heroes and hitmen. So we know that's in there and then hit hitmen. So now we've got it loaded up for both. Come over here, hit, hit save, and now we've actually saved that XML file. So now once the table's all programmed up and we want to use it in a set, we'll come back over, load up. It usually will live inside of the BPM folder that it's been assigned, so this one is at 128. Scroll up through our selections of songs, so when you see Josh playing live, you'll often notice him going and doing something over here that everybody wonders what we're doing, and actually what we're doing is selecting the next song. Come over here to our load panel, load up the song, bang, there you go. And now, here we go to arrange. So, central dot, big flash is the one, so we want to come in on just slightly before the one. Drop it down. Loop timer on the puck comes around and lets us know where we are in the eight bars. Started bringing up and arranging the track. So now we've got some pucks out on the table. We have filters and effects all around, so we can change these filters and effects if we want to hit a global. This would be a global low pass. Start dialing that down. But then if we want to section that off, we can bring it over, filter down the bass. Want to hit a ping pong delay, we can come over here, grab that so when the vocal comes up, bring it up, and we'll get a nice big fat ping pong delay coming. Bring it back, let it fade out. Come over here, do a global, filter down, and there you have it folks. A quick introduction to how we arrange music on the Reactable Live. Ain't no one in the room but he